Now to some more live pictures from Florida's East Coast. Take a look here. This is Cocoa Beach with the waves battering the shoreline there. And new tonight, a mandatory curfew is now going into effect in Volusia County as the East Coast of Florida gets ready for possible storm surge and tropical storm force winds. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck joining us live in Daytona Beach. Sarah, are people actually heeding the warning out there? Yes, they absolutely are. This is Beach Street and take a look these streets primarily empty. We've got one car out here on the entire road. Businesses all boarded up. People are absolutely heeding the warning. Police officers are also out checking IDs at most of the major bridges, ensuring that everyone who does not live or work on the Atlantic side of Volusia County isn't venturing into dangerous territory. Tonight, emergency management telling people here that the eye of the storm is expected to pass the county just 30 to 40 miles offshore, bringing about four to six feet of storm surge and tropical force winds starting any moment now and lasting between 17 and 24 hours. We're already seeing the storm's impact on the beach. High surf on Daytona Beach is now burying hundreds of feet of sand underneath the water this afternoon. And this is a very slow moving storm, but officials here in Volusia County are begging people not to get comfortable. It's crazy because we get so excited. We, we prepare our houses, we get our, all of our sandbags, and we're ready for, this, for the storm. Um, so, and then now it's just the waiting game. Wait and see what, what happens. Now, we also just got an update from the Volusia County Sheriff's Office telling us that scams are a growing concern. They've made arrests ranging from people stealing sandbags to scammers posing as tree trimmers and robbing people ahead of the storm. Back out here live, take a look at these trees. They are really starting to shake in the stronger wind out here. We are going to be out here all night making sure that we are keeping you informed of the latest conditions as they worsen here on Florida's East Coast. Reporting live on Daytona Beach, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.